Health authorities at the Janasi Health Center in the Eastern Region are appealing for government's assistance as obsolete equipment are hampering effective healthcare delivery. George Queenie reports lack of infrastructure has compelled males, females and babies to be put together in a detention ward. The Janasi Health Center serves indigents in the community and eight environs. The facility has not seen any major rehabilitation since its establishment. Ceilings are weak, posing threat to patients. Access to the facility is difficult any time it rains. Equipment are obsolete with limited space for patients. This is the delivery ward of the Drenasi Health Center. And as you can see, most of the things here are rusted. And so what that means is that if someone delivers from here and would have to be sent to the lie-in ward, Sometimes it gets busy because this very room serves as the you know, post-delta ward, antenatal ward, family planning and also lying ward. So if someone is supposed to be brought here and is occupied, the person has nowhere else to go. The in charge at the facility tells me nurses refuse postings to the centre as prevailing conditions are not the best. As I speak to you, I have only one community health nurse for the whole sub-districts. And also space and lack of privacy. When you go to our detention room, we have only three beds and two cots for babies. When it comes to detention, we have female, male and children mixed up there. And the room is small, with all our windows wearing off. And look at the problem we are having with nurses and security now. The gates are not there. And there is a, a thick bush to just behind them. Some patients poured out their frustration. When you want to change yourself, you see another patient coming in. And there's a lot of dust around too. You can't get a very comfortable place to sleep. You have to lie down for other patients to go out before you also come in. Beds at the detention ward are not the best, although some were borrowed from the St. Dominic Hospital in Aquitia. A maternity ward being constructed by indigents has stalled due to financial constraints. This is the nurses' quarters of the Junasi Health Center. This very gate here has been spoiled for months and it has since not been fixed and it puts the lives of these nurses in danger. At a time where, you know, the security of, you know, community nurses have been questioned. And so it behoves on duty bearers to ensure something is done about this very development. But some nurses are even considering leaving the community. The district chief executive of the Nchambo, Seth Burokran of Fusu, says they are working around the clock to face most of the challenges faced by the center. Until the Junasi Health Center witnesses a major renovation, indigents will have to bear the brunt of privacy-related issues and infrastructure challenges. George Quinin, TV3 News, Junasi, Eastern Region.